what's happening YouTube so I'm gonna keep this video as raw and as real as I can but my brain's been on fire today I've been very 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 productive so I thought what better I don't know what they're saying that is on Basically, I've just pulled up somewhere totally fucking random in Audley Edge whilst my brain's like this and I thought, you know what, I'm going to film a YouTube video for you guys basically on how I'm finding CrossFit, on how I'm managing coming off performance enhancing drugs or supplements and I want to talk a little bit about managing stress. So, first of all, obviously, I also want to talk a little bit about me as well because me and Dom do these videos together and whatnot, and I feel like you need to know us on an individual basis as well. So I really want Dom to do a video on this as well because Dom's got a really interesting background that I think um, can be as inspiring to a lot of people, male and female. So a little bit about me, obviously you know that I'm a contest prep coach or fat loss specialist kind of thing. And recently I felt like I had lost my way because I've been known as Dan, Dan the bodybuilder, Dan this, Dan that. And I've always had that like kind of niche kind of thing. Whereas when I decided to quit bodybuilding and kind of go to CrossFit and health and fitness and lifestyle, um, even though I still help people for competitions and whatnot, I kind of felt like I lost my way, kind of felt like I'd lost my credibility in the industry. Uh, and I have been a little bit lost, I won't lie. Um, it's not been easy. And it's not been easy whilst managing hormones that are irregulated coming off uh, performance sensing uh, supplements, drugs, steroids. Um, it has been a battle and um, I've gone from being known as something to kind of finding myself all over again. I've gone from being a bodybuilder and being good at something to starting something from complete scratch and being shit at something basically. Um, and that as well has been very stressful and it's also, it's, 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 it's had an impact on everything. It's like how, if I'm not looking after myself, how am I going to look after a team of 50, 30, 60 people or whatever my client base currently is right now. Um, and that, uh, sadly that has, has had its effect. Um, but CrossFit in general, um, the transition that I've made and how I'm finding things is um, again, nothing against bodybuilders. I've still got a lot of friends in the industry. It, I'm not dead. Like, <laughs> I still bodybuild time to time. I still intend to bodybuild when I hook up with old friends and whatnot. But right now, my focus is just health, fitness, and strength, which kind of correlates to CrossFit because obviously you've got weightlifting, uh, gymnastics, and then you've got your cardio based things as well. So, how I'm finding it? Um, fucking awful, if I'm being honest. Uh, I don't recover as good, obviously coming off. I'm not as strong, obviously coming off. And I'm completely new to half of the things that's evolved in CrossFit. Um, and I just beat myself up about it all the time because I'm just nowhere where I need to be. But that's something that we shouldn't do really because all that does is give me motivation to strive to better myself so I can progress and get better and better and better as my journey progresses. So, as I said, a little bit about me, I'm still a contest prep coach, I still help people lose fat, it's just that my own personal um, feelings toward bodybuilding have changed slightly, and it's not. I just don't want to compete right now, um, and the people I do work with who do compete, um, I just manage them a little bit better than I managed myself during my uh, last competition prep, that's all. Um, so, stress and CrossFit, as I said, I kind of feel like I just lost myself, um, and I think this vlog's kind of, kind of like day one, like starting over again because I feel like with Dom support, with other close people support, I kind of feel, I kind of feel like I'm coming back, kind of thing. And obviously, I've not changed or anything, but I just feel like I'm excited about what's to come. So I had to pull over the car, I had to get a vlog on, and. Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you for everyone that's supporting myself and Dom as well because we get messages literally every single day uh, saying that they love what we're doing, they love the message that we're sending out and to be honest, th that's nice here because me and Dom don't actually do anything other than be ourselves. So, that being said, um, I hope this is the first of many consistent blogs because it's so easy to get caught up in so much work. Um, but like I said, if, I, if we couldn't with where if I'm not even looking after myself 
how can we expect to look after a team of people and inspire other people and help other people when we can't even look after ourselves so that's a big priority for myself and it's a big priority for Dan and Dom right now referring to us in third oh my god it's a big priority for me and Dom right now should I say um, so yeah I'm gonna leave that vlog there I think that's all I wanted to mention literally my brain just been on fire so uh, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find how I can vlog what me and Dom do but give you guys content as well like how can I give you an insight into our lives and what we do and how we train but also give you content on how you can apply it to your lifestyles as well so me and Dom are gonna sit down tonight and come up with some topics and I think just raw videos like this as well but including more people and showing you what we do where we brunch where we train how we train and um, what kind of things we get up to what kind of things we do with our clients as well because that's a big thing like I, no, I was gonna say I'm quite knowledgeable at what I do and sometimes I don't put hardly any information about what I do with my clients to get the results that I do out there and that's probably why I'm not known as uh, known as much as I'd like to be because I kind of like shell up i think well what's the point in putting something out there if it's not really going to contrib uh, contribute to something but if i can put something out there that's going to contribute to something or someone then let's do it i think that's pretty much